The basic kit is comprised of various drums and cymbals. This drum right here in the middle is called a snare drum. It's unique because it has two very different sounds. There's a strainer on the bottom and a latch right here that helps me to shut the snares on and off. Here's what it sounds like with the snare latch on. Here's what it sounds like with the snares off. So the next drum right here is called a rack tom or a mounted tom. This drum right here is called a floor tom. This cymbal right here is called a ride cymbal. This symbol is a crash symbol. This is a hi-hat. You play it with your foot. You can also hit it. This drum right here is my bass drum. Let's talk about how we hold the sticks, or it's called grip. There are two basic kinds, match grip, where both hands are holding the stick in the same manner, and traditional grip, or an asymmetrical grip. Let's talk about match grip first. There are two basic ways to play match grip. We need a hinge point, and the hinge point that I like to talk about first is between your thumb and first finger, thumb and index finger, okay? That's the hinge point, or fulcrum. Move it like this, and your fingers can wrap around like that. And when we have this fulcrum, when we play the drum, we can use our wrists. We can use our fingers. That's called French grip. If I turn my palm so it's facing down and I use my wrist, that's called German grip. The other grip, traditional grip, is for the right hand, you keep it like with the fulcrum between your thumb and index finger. Um, for the traditional grip, the fulcrum is between, right in the cradle of your hand like that, your index finger and your pinky go underneath the stick, and your index finger goes over the stick, and your middle finger is kind of just hanging there like that. You can employ your middle finger as well, but you can play traditional grip using your wrist, or finger. So here's traditional grip, and here's match grip. Drumsticks come in a variety of weights and sizes that affects their sound. Let's listen to two different drumsticks right now on the ride cymbal. You can also hear the difference on the drums. You can also hear the difference when I play a rim click. Now that we've talked about the basic drum set components and how to hold the sticks, let's play a groove. 
I'm going to be playing traditional grip, and I'm going to be using the hi-hat, the snare drum, and the bass drum. Traditionally, if you're right-handed, and you, your right hand goes over your left and plays the hi-hat. Many people play different ways, but that's been pretty traditional for a long time. So that's how I'm going to play for you right now. And we're going to start counting to four here, playing the hi-hat like a timer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to add our snare drum on two and four. One, two, three. bass drum on beat one. 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 Now that we've learned a drum groove, let's talk about drum fills. A drum fill can be found at the beginning of a song or used to transition between sections of a song. The first fill I'd like to show you is going to be simply going down the drum set one note per drum on four different drums. So you get four counts. Snare drum, mounted tom, floor tom, bass drum, so like this. One, four. I'll do it again. I'll play the groove, and then I'll play the drum fill. Again, I'll start the groove off like this. One, two, three, four. And we bring in our snare drum. Two, three. Our bass drum. One. Our fill. One. I'd like to show you another fill. This time, we're going to play two notes on the snare drum two notes on the mounted tom, and four notes on the floor tom. It's going to sound like this. With the groove. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 